Hi everyone, it's Mark Elliott from GolfPerformance.ca. Beautiful afternoon here in September at the Sunningdale Golf and Country Club in London, Ontario. And I want to show you a little field drill that I think you can all benefit from today. First thing I'm going to do is take off my echoes here. I want you to be able to see some footwork. And I have a skateboard. I'm not much of a boarder, but if I come up on the skateboard and I just try to balance myself, I can do it reasonably easy. I can go on my toes or my heels, okay? I have a baseball bat here. Baseball is my first love. and I'm gonna be a right-handed hitter here. If I was gonna hit a home run and transfer my weight back and then forward to you at home, in order to keep myself on the skateboard and to generate maximal power, I would, as the pitch is coming back, transfer my pressure into my back heel. And you can see my front heel, it raises a bit. And then to hit a home run, I would come through into my front heel, back toe. Just like this. Okay? Now, if I take the board this way, just to clarify, pitch is coming, I'm going to come back and you can see how I'm getting into this heel. Without doing this, by the way, I'm just going to rotate into my trail heel and then go forward and the board stays pretty level. Behind me, you can see a body track device that I use and I, I believe in quite a bit. And basically, it's the same thing on it. If I was to stand on it, I want to see the golfer, if you're a weight transfer into the backswing, we're going to come back here and our pressure trace is going to go into front toe, back heel, and then reverse. So I want you all to feel that you're in your lead heel in the follow through and your trail toe. That's going to basically activate your lead glutes which gets you up. Glute maximus is your primary hip extender. Notice how my knees change flex and then this knee extends and comes up. I want you to, to practice at home you can just go on the lawn in your bare feet because in your bare feet you can really feel this a lot better. But if you're going to transfer back and then forward, get into your trail heel and front toe. The board stays level. Board stays level as you reverse it. Trail toe, lead heel. I think that'll help you. It will also steady the club face coming through as opposed to being on your toes and hitting pulls or pushes or being completely unathletic on both heels where you're going to probably fan it out to the right if you're a right-hander. I hope that helps. Take care of each other. Bye for now. Thanks.